Welcome to episode 7 of Brohawks, a sports podcast. The last ever episode of Brohawks, a sports podcast. The date is May 31st. I'm your host, KCP, along with my good friend and co-host, D-Dub. Yeah, I, you see? I saw you looking at your phone. Yeah, I usually do the day before. I guess it's the 30th. I, I normally do that. I just I didn't have it in my phone. No, the 31st makes sense because you're probably going to put it up on the 31st, right? Yeah, probably. But I usually do it the day of recording, and I don't usually pay attention to the midnight thing. But because I usually have it in my phone already as a note, but I just didn't have it this time. Gotcha. So you're as prepared as I am tonight. I actually do have a lot prepared. Do you? There's I not do a whole too. lot in general, but I'm saying like the stuff that I was going to talk about, I do have ready. Good. Me too. <laughs> there hasn't been a lot, and I don't pay attention to other sports. Yeah. Well, you're going to change that with this podcast, though. Yes, so. I am. <laughs> I want to. I've been doing a poor job. I will take that on. I'm, I'm proud of you. So, should we get into why it's the last episode or should we leave that for the end, like a cliffhanger? Ooh. We should probably do it at the beginning because uh, I'm assuming uh can't keep the attention of everybody for that long, you know what I mean? We got to yeah. clear the air, though. Apparently, people think we're going to get a divorce. <laughs> and you're in this camp of thinking we're not, and I'm still like, that's a potential. So... I mean, I, there's always a potential. So, like, it's in the back of my head that it could. Because I, I don't, you know, you don't ex- you don't go 100% one way or the other. You know what I mean? Just like in real life. Well, that's sadly, most people do on almost everything now. Yeah. It's all or nothing. And I'm, he's, according to last time, 100% in the middle. <laughs> so, we're not going to get a divorce, though, yet. No. At least not because of that. Oh, no, I'm playing it up anyways. Yeah. I'm just joking. Um, it's not the reason why this is the last episode, either. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. And it's a late episode, too. We didn't record on a normal yeah. day. Oh, God. People are probably <laughs> worried sick. Uh, Trevor uh, wants to cancel me. <laughs> so I get that. Yeah, that was a twist for me. I didn't expect it from him. I told you he's usually just like, you just, I don't care. Yeah. So I think he probably was just joking. I think because that's not. I'm down, I'm down. I understand that my, my views were controversial. <laughs> and honestly, I also understand they're stupid. <laughs> so I'm totally on board with that. I am going to add something. At the end of this, I'll do a solo thing so we can stay. I can't be here for it? Well, you can. It was just uh, going off what we said last week. I looked some stuff up because you said you wanted me to. Oh. I mean, you think I was like, time for another argument. So no, I'm, I'm good. I'm cool. We can talk about it if you want. Yeah? Okay. Well, do you want to... Fuck you! Oh, sorry. Do you want to first talk about uh, why yes. this show is ending? Uh, we fucking hate each other. I was going to say, it's what happened last week. Yeah, it's games. 100%. Because we disagree. We're talking on... about a divorce. This is exactly like family. We're trying to beat around the bush. But it's, it's <laughs> We're done. What happened last week? Severing ties. And I get everything. <laughs> um, No, it's not that, believe it or not. Um, We're still going to do a podcast. Hmm. Right? Twist. Yeah. I didn't even know this. Um, do you... Should we put the image up here? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Will you put it... Yeah. Um, we have a love for two things in this world, many other things, but two a lot, uh, football, sports, and pizza. We were going to, is it going to be up here the whole time? Uh, I just see how long you can keep your hands there. I could do it for a while. Okay. Um, we were going to start a pizza podcast where we review local pizza. Mm -hmm. Um, but someone on a wild, uh, epic journey. Uh, to find himself and, and to find find the ones that he loves uh, found found more than just himself uh, he found uh, uh, an idea yeah. and that idea is I've talked a lot about it already should I say the name is that or uh, is, whatever I mean you okay. can just take over the journey from here well the idea is before I say the name it was me that came up with it by the way yeah that's why I'm gonna do a lot of editing I'm probably gonna knock that part out um <laughs> He won't, but, uh, he won't listen to his voice long enough. <laughs> <laughs> but we decided to combine them, like you said, and not just football, which the name, them. the name might imply when we get to that, but <laughs> to combine the pizza and sports to create pigskin over pizza. Where we talk pigskin and other sports over pizza. We're going to get a pizza Sorry, from a local place. Come here, try it, 
Oh, shit. Review it and talk sports while we eat it. That's right. And instead of recording on Thursdays like we normally do. We're going to try then, Tuesdays. Yeah. And then try and put it out the next day, which is normally the day we record her in back order. So still be pretty similar to the day before. And uh, if you're watching or if you're listening to this, it'd be much better to watch this episode so you can see the logo. And also going forward, because I feel like it'd be very odd to listen to a, a pizza podcast, but it'll still be on Four out of audio ten. format. So We rate things out of a large pizza, which is eight triangular slices. Maybe we should change that so it's easier for everybody else. <laughs> it's but pretty so stupid, far, though, so it's pretty good. It is. It's kind of our thing. So everything we've done out of eight slices. We've done a few pizza places just to get our foot in the door. Um, but that's how the rating is going to be. And the logo, as you can see, is just incredible. Thank you, Peter. Yep, good old Pete. Old Pistol Pete. Same guy did the art for current backloggers and uh, things we shouldn't admit. But yeah, we'll have an official actual logo. That's kind of why I have this janky set up and... Well, I've been figuring out what we're going to do. And hopefully I'll have a theme song done by then. I'm going to try my best. Ba, 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 ba. I think that's taken. Oh. I'm loving it. Mm. Pig skin over pizza. There we go. No, pop! Good. That's why we said pop so many times. Yeah, Easter eggs. Look at that. Pop! Well, we both did that. That's kind of... I need to edit that out for sure. <clears throat> or not. Again, you won't make it this far listening to it. So everything that happens from this point forward will be in. We'll see about that. I winked for the audio listeners. So that's the uh, that's the big news. No more current backloggers, but we're still the current backloggers with pizza. And it's called pigskin over pizza because we're talking pigskin and other sports over pizza. But still current backloggers, no more bro hawks. That's what I meant to say. I know. Current <laughs> backloggers is still a very real <laughs> I thing. I thought you were making a joke and I realized you misspoke. <laughs> yeah, current <laughs> backloggers will still exist <laughs> on Wednesdays like normal. <laughs> Nothing You're to do with me. Guy. And then... We're recording this on the 31st, so we're not going to do our first episode tomorrow, as in Tuesday. So the first episode we'll record should be the 7th of June, and then out the next day, hopefully, if everything goes correctly. Mm-hmm. So that's the plan. Woo! Yay! Branching out. I tell you. Okay, so... I'm we... ready to be wrong. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, you might disagree with it. I just... I tried to look it up. So in 2020... The University of Michigan and UC Berkeley. Can we trust anything from Michigan? I was going to make the joke that uh, I fucking hate them, but, but unfortunately, <laughs> I was going to say both of them are, uh, I think, very high grade, even though I hate Michigan. And they're not not—they're not very good at sports, but um, I think there's a lot of sports. Or existing. Like Michigan. There you let's, go. Just, let's just throw it out the window. Next. But <laughs> they did a study. Okay. And their study was from oh, – go on, please. What is this in review to? <laughs> This is uh, Native Americans and how they felt about okay, the okay. Redskins. Yeah. I'm, again, I'm totally open and willing to be wrong. Okay. We'll and I'm just, fine with it. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll see what you think. Like, so that's why I was okay putting it at the end. It wasn't like to try, try and argue. I just honestly might not even push back on it. Just throw the facts up there and then cool. But they uh, did a research of 1,021 Native Americans. And My threshold's 1,025, so. This is a useless stat. And it says twice the size of previous samples, so I guess they've done this before. Um, It included Native Americans from all 50 states representing 148 tribes. The researchers found that 90% of self-identified Native Americans found that Washington Redskins' name not offensive. 2% found it offensive, and 8% were indifferent. In addition, um, studies found that Participants who were heavily engaged in their native or uh, tribal cultures, 92% said that they were not offended. For young people, 60%, and those with tribal affiliations, 52%. So, a couple of things if you were to counteract it or counter argue it. I think a lot of people would be like, well, yeah, it's a hundred or a thousand of them. So that, yeah. that was my first thing is I wonder what the general population is. I wonder what the number is in America of how many there even. I looked that up because I, I actually didn't know, and I was curious. There's five million, so that's a very small okay. portion. But I think, I think why they state all these other things is this is pretty much how any poll is done. Cause you're never gonna get yeah, and that's why I'm not 
Yeah, so I think that that's the reason they state that there's from all 50 states and representing 148 tribes yeah. because that is a very small portion of it, but that's a very broad brush yeah. of them in general. It's a very high number also. Yeah. So. And I even said last episode, so I was also wrong, that I think majority of them just would not give a shit, but it says 90% found the name not offensive and not and only eight percent were indifferent and only two percent found it offensive i could still be wrong on this but i'm still going to stick in the world that i think mo of the five million i bet that would start to even out to indifferent oh yeah maybe like i said i was we, we'll too, never know so, that but yeah. we only have this but <clears throat> i would still feel that way and i could be wrong and the part at the end i thought was interesting because it sounds like the farther you away you get from actually being true native american the number goes down yeah and the younger which is probably are, where so. the 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 vocal part comes out yeah so i think that indicates more that the true at least there's affiliation i guess i don't know um yeah i mean those numbers are and i never if this didn't come out in the last episode those i agree those are the people that should be upset and it should matter the most and what i what and that's what i meant to come across as i hope eventually that came out but yeah this these this is the vocal the part that should matter but what I was also standing on, and I still stand on, is that if you have enough, all, like, other people also, then you have to do something. So, this does show that, I'm assuming I said that I bet it would be people were offended. Mostly. Yeah, I think you I don't actually remember my stance, if I'm going to be honest with you, because I was just sp spurting. <laughs> I think we both said that I think majority of people would just not give a shit, but you said yes. that. Yes. So, that does show that I'm wrong. Which is fine. But yeah, I think those those are the ones that should matter the most. Yeah, I do think it's a small sample size. But again, I, I think it would it would equal out to who gives a fuck. Um but I just again I think the farther out you go, the less people think it's cool. And excuse me. And those are the people that are loud. So is that right? No. Is my stance the same? Yes. Just because it's not or my stance stays the same in the sense that it's going to happen either way. Cancel culture's here. It's happening. Fuck it. I'm just not going to be... You know what I mean? I don't care. So, cancel what you will if you have to. Don't cancel. That's where I stand. And hopefully that's a good summary of last episode. I truly don't care. But these people should be the ones that voices matter the most. And clearly that was not taken into account. That feels like an okay place to... <laughs> It actually feels like I got my point out, too, which is rare. <laughs> I'm not always the best at it either. Um, I always have ideas in my head, and I'm like, I know exactly how this could go. Yeah, that's what I last always... week was for me. I had so many things I wanted to get out clearly, but it just wasn't happening. So that's what this episode's going to be, <laughs> is clarifying all that. Not all of it. I said what I said. Well, let me ask you something that I thought about, that because uh, I was actually curious about this. What if a team moved? Would you feel the same way? So this has nothing to do with cancel, cancel culture or anything. Is more, I was wondering. Yeah, this is what it all stemmed from is teams and shit. Yeah, so I was wondering how you felt about that because I don't think it's connected at all. Uh, so I was curious thinking about it. If Seattle moved to, um, totally we'll say, trying to get somewhere. I was no, my, my I, went to like Ann Oklahoma Arbor. City or something? I was going to say there, and I skipped that on purpose, and then Ann oh, Arbor okay. is too easy because Michigan. So, like, I Birmingham. Don't hate, I don't hate Michigan, so that wouldn't be that bad. Birmingham. Uh, would I still like them? Yeah. Or would? Is there a team replacing the Seahawks? Like, would there be a team in Seattle? Or, is, in, or are the Seattle Seahawks? Yeah, they're going to be the Birmingham Seahawks. Yep. Or will they be a totally different? Is it going to be like a Ravens Brown situation where they're like it's a totally different team? They're going to change the name, or not? It would be the same team, but they change the name, change. I location. guess let's uh, run through all three. How would you feel if they got okay. a new team? If so if it was a totally new team, like a like a uh, the Ravens were the Brown the Browns or the Ravens type of thing, which I guess it's not a new team. They just shipped them off. I guess no, that was a new team. Yeah, yeah, they had a uh, um, more Colts before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they went off, to, and then the Ravens were very good because the Browns were very good before it mattered. Um, if they got a new team, so like they were just, I wouldn't, oh boy. If they relocated, oh boy. If they were the, the Birmingham Seahawks and there was no team in Seattle, I would follow them. Really? Mm. 
And it's the same team? Mm-hmm. Let's say to have and stay. The exact team that's in Seattle right now is the is in Birmingham. Yeah. I'd probably follow them. I hate Birmingham Seahawks. <laughs> um, I was trying to get another big football market that doesn't have an and, NFL and team. Honestly, all the other things are kind of the same. If they, if it was a situation where like they shipped what is the Seahawks now, Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll, John Schneider, you know, Bobby Wagner to Birmingham and call them the Birmingham Bastards, and then the Seahawks became a new team, I would stay with Seattle. It would suck fucking ass, but I would stay with Seattle. If the Seattle Seahawks exist, I'm a Seattle Seahawks fan first. So if they if the Seahawks, Seahawks, Seahawks no longer exist and they move to the Birmingham Seahawks, I will move to Birmingham. If what's the third one? If they were the Birmingham Bastards, yeah, I say. Uh, I think that's the same answer. Really? I think I would have to be right. It'd be weird just because of the name change to not like them. That would also negate my first point of last week. And we can make the Birmingham situation for you better. Uh, better for you. I got one. Um, way better. San Antonio Seahawks. They're a good that football market. And, that is a yeah, better name. Works better with it. Um. See, the thing is, I've grown, and again, because I like the Thunder, and I was a Super Sonics fan. A lot of people think that's weird. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah. Um. But I like the Thunder. Um. Loosely, I don't like basketball enough. Yeah. I love football, so it might be a little different. Um, but it's it's just different than the Ravens Browns thing too because the Browns still existed afterwards. So again, as long as the Seahawks is, exist, I'm a Seahawks fan first. But if they were to move and there's no football in Seattle, I would have to like, I would either like them or the Vikings, or something. But it it would be hard to switch allegiances. Yeah, I was thinking about this when we we're talking about the crew name because I. After a court, I started thinking if that would hold true for a team moving because a lot of people thought I was weird that if I said when the crew moved, if they moved to Austin, I was like, I'm done with them now. No, you wouldn't be. I was like, no, I'm fucking done with them. I would not. If there was no crew, like there's no Columbus soccer team, you just wouldn't like soccer? Yeah, especially that one, even more so because the crew is why I follow the MLS. So for me, that would be it. There would be nothing. Like yeah. the NFL, I still I would hate it, but. I like football and what would you do if Denver moved if the Broncos became the Birmingham Broncos I would not follow the Broncos anymore and then I still like football so I'd probably casually watch a new team or would you just like not have a favorite team and you just like football yeah I don't think I would I would have to have a favorite team I think the only scenario where I'd maybe it'd still be weird to me but they became the Columbus Broncos but still the reason I don't like it is the principle of it and what I know it would mean, like Denver is so supportive and having them ripped away. That's why even as a Broncos fan, I think the Raiders situation is fucked up, which I think a lot of Broncos fans probably think it's hilarious and don't feel that way because they hate the Raiders. Yeah. So to me, it's more of a principle thing and thinking about the communities and the, I get that there's sometimes logistics just makes sense to move teams. I don't think that should just be something that never happens, but like the crew situation, there's so much evidence of why that shouldn't happen. Yeah. So that's why like, if this happens, I'm fucking... Same with Seattle. I mean, oh, Seattle, yeah, that's... yeah, it'd be such a crazy move. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of Oakland fans fell off, but I'm sure a lot are Las Vegas Raiders fans. But yeah, it seems to be a lot, like a, yeah. a huge amount. I think when that ha- happens, it usually seems like half and half. It doesn't seem like that with the Raiders, which I don't get. I'd be fucking done with them. I, I would definitely... Because I love... See, I've got a huge love for Seattle... And I would be so bummed if they didn't have a football team because there's like the, the fan. I don't like I always say I don't I haven't experienced it, but that fan base is so passionate about the Seahawks, and it's really their biggest sport. It's their well, the Mariners, but they suck dick. So, and the Super Sonics were huge, but they moved, and a lot of Seattle natives hate the Thunder. So I guess being from Ohio, maybe it's different for me. Because I'm like, I go go Thunder. But when they start getting rid of Restbook and then Adams, and I'm like, well, I don't. I just don't care enough. If the Supersonics come back, which they're talking about, I'll be all about that. Mm -hmm. But if if the Seahawks moved, I I would follow them. If there was no football in Seattle. But there would have to be no football in Seattle. 
Yeah, maybe in NFL I'd find another team. I don't think I would just pick one right away. I think maybe naturally it would happen over time. But with the crew, I, that's why I started following soccer. So for that, it'd be easy. I'd, I'm fucking done. I might watch the World Cup of the U.S. That'd be it. There's so that yeah, one. There's, I'd just be done. I love football so much. There's there's no fucking way I could. Yeah. So that's why that one's different. Because I know I'd still follow it. But yeah, the Broncos would not be it unless they moved to Columbus. But even that, like I said, I'd feel weird about the principle of it. But it'd be hard to support it. Not you can't even see my leg. I just look like I'm fucking sitting weird. <laughs> Yeah, we got. If you're listening to audio format, we're pretty much rocking all black, both of us. We are unintentionally. <laughs> um, I was just curious about that, though. Yeah, I th- yeah, I, th- I would. I would still like them. Okay. But Birmingham, it's, San Antonio would be kind of cool. That's kind of a cool name, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think that one works a bit way better. Um, I was trying to think of big football markets. But again, I love Seattle. So, and I've never even been there. I just have a love. I feel like cool. I feel like I should be there. I really do. It's everything for me. Um, I could never live there. I'll be honest with you, but it's awesome. I feel like I—I I don't think I could live in Seattle. I think I could live, yeah, on the outskirts. But like, mm, it's got a good city life. It's got Mount Rainier. It's rainy, music, Xbox. There's an ocean, dude. It's got everything. I'm that football. The Sounders are good. The hockey team's coming. Super Sonics might come back. Might be a time to move. Uh, yeah. So that's my stance. If if there was no if if the Seahawks were still in Seattle and they'd shipped the t- if they did a Ravens Brown situation, I would still like the Seahawks. Seattle. If they moved, I would just move with them. If they just stopped existing, that should be the third one. If there no, are like no Seahawks, folded them. Yeah. <sighs> I would I would pick a new team. It would hurt my heart. But it would probably be the Vikings. See, I guess that and the potential move will also factor if I feel like it is an Oakland situation or a crew situation. Because I think there's valid times to move teams, even though it sucks. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, business wise, I can see they try yeah, to fight yeah. for it and everything. But a situation like that, if they fold them, I felt like it was there was no reason to. That's where I'd be like, or moved them. I'm like, this is no, that's fucked up. Yeah. But even though it sucks, like the Broncos. Started dropping off and average 30,000 fans a game, which it might sound good to people if you don't watch football, but that'd be horrendous because Broncos average be a like 80,000. Football team, yeah. yeah. Any professional, yeah. So if they started doing things like that and d- couldn't get sponsorship and started losing things, I thought like, it sucks, but you can't really blame them. It's a business. But if it's still like it is and so it's thriving. Then you would follow them? Then, uh. Like just, if, you, if they had to move them. Like it was a business. Like I don't no... know. I wouldn't follow them, but, um. I would not hate the NFL as much, and oh, okay, like if they fold, you said if you fold them, then ha- that's how you feel. Like if they just fold them out of nowhere, I'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" But if there's all that leading up to it, I'd be like, I'm pissed. But I can't really blame yeah, you for doing it. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Um, should we get into MLS to start with? You don't want to talk about how we've been? We always we st- probably should start do that. with how we've yeah, been. Yeah, we just started with our podcast, so it kind of made me think of that. Yeah. No, we can start I'm with that. What have you been up to? Um, I started a new job. Yeah. Yeah. Delivering pizzas at 30 You're years old. You're rocking it right there, showing up for the camera. Um, delivering pizzas at 30 years old. Um, but honestly, it's it's great. It's kind of fun. You kind of to yourself. I've banged out like four podcasts already, um, all about cults and serial killers. So my mind's been in a weird place, mm-hmm. but it's been great. Um, making good money, which is nice. Uh, crazy money, actually. I work almost half of what I worked in my last job, and I make more. So that's awesome. <laughs> um, it's horrible for my weight loss, <laughs> which to update, I'm 46 pounds down. It doesn't look it right now because of my blending in with everything. Yeah, you're just humongous. I am here. huge right now, and I feel it every time I look over there. But I've so here's the issue with this. This is why I bring up the weight. So I started this job. And there's just pizza available like all the time I can have a meal every day there's always food to munch on <clears throat> I'm three and a half pounds down from 50 pounds lost and I set a goal 12 weeks ago to lose 50 pounds in 12 weeks which is already crazy and I was like I won't hit that but I'm fucking close and of the past four days I've had pizza three of them so it's going to be an issue I have to learn a little bit more willpower but there's an update on weight and new job so that's been fun. I've been doing that. I've been playing Biomutant, which oh, I know yeah. this isn't the current backloggers, 
but maybe I'll save it for that. I got a little mini review. I got like 10 hours in so far. It's okay. Uh, I yeah. I find your next big game. Uh, I've sunk more time into it than I have a lot of things. So um, it's like an RPG. Well, it is an RPG. But it's like an RPG for like kids. Like if this was your first RPG, Baby's you'd love first it. First RPG. Yeah. I was literally so, listening to a podcast that called it that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Um, it wasn't uh, Defying Duke. It was. Oh, because I haven't. I was going to. I asked sex in my. No, like it was, was the pretty good gaming show. Okay. So I, say, I really haven't heard that. So I won't be. Oh, really? Um, okay, but it, it's exactly else. that. Hmm. Um, if you are a casual gamer, perfect. So it's not overwhelming like those trailers look like, where it's just massive. Like, uh, it's a huge world. But the world's kind of empty. Which which is a bummer to me. Um, there's a bunch of side stuff to do, but the main quest is like 15 hours long, and it's pretty straightforward. The crafting looks overwhelming, but it's so simple. It's all like color based. It's super dumbed down. It's like a super dumbed down RPG. I, it's like rated teen. I, I would give this to a 10 year old, and they would pick it up in five seconds. Yeah. Uh, which is fine for someone like me. I want one of those really in depth RPGs. But I also don't, because those kind of draw me off. But this one is like I've pl- I've played quite a bit in just two days, because um, I'm still sprinkling Warzone in there, obviously. Um, but no, it's good. It's good. It, it's it's like a six and a half out of ten. But again, I'm, it, it, the problem is I hear that it doesn't change at this point. I've done the combat feels pretty similar. Like it's not very hard. Um, the kung fu part of it 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 tries to be a lot of things it is a lot of things but it's not great at any of them so but it's it's a good time waster and honestly if it's if you're into like a casual rpg that's not overwhelming i think it'd be perfect to bring back to sports this kind of sounds like the jabril uh jabril peppers uh, he's exactly this game is exactly jabril peppers (laughs) this this game is daniel jones (laughs) Like, he's going to do some cool stuff, but most of the time, he's not good. Same with Jibro Peppers. Yeah, he can do a little bit of everything okay, just nothing. Yeah. Nothing great. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's Biomutant. Biomutant is Jibro Peppers <clears throat> in the NFL, not in college. Yeah, that's how you can do, you're talking about me doing your own YouTube gaming thing? Yeah, just mix sports and gaming? Yeah, this is the Tom Brady of video games. Oh man, I don't even know what that. I don't want for it to is Tom Brady <laughs> or Halo Three. I don't know which one. So I've been doing that. I've been dabbling with that little Warzone. It's mainly gaming and working, and uh, watching my dogs. I haven't really been watching anything, which is sad. I want to watch more things. Quiet Place Two came out. I saw it. Did you? Yeah. Don't I, uh, tell me a lot about it. Is it better or worse than the first? I didn't like it as much, but the first I absolutely love, so that's not really not I it. also love the first one. Um, I won't really spoil anything. There's just a couple things that I think are kind of silly and pull you out of the real world, which I think one of the things the first one did really well for the most part. I've never been more engaged. That, yeah, that's, so, that's an exaggeration, but it's also not. It's just not like terrible things, just kind of like typical movie things. You're like, that doesn't really make sense, and that's one of the things that made the, the first, first one made so much sense. Yeah. Do the birth scene. I was like reminiscing about that the other day. How fucking incredible that was. Yeah. Right, here's more action-y. Yeah, there definitely is. And there's a, a couple other things I'm not too fond of, but I don't want to spoil it. So we'll wait till you see it. But I'm going to see it. For sure. I might see it Tuesday. Okay. Because I'm off work. I'm cool going to the theater by myself. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it was perfect for that. I saw it with two other people. I, I think it's on HBO Max, isn't it? No, it's only in theaters right yeah. now. Uh, um, That would be one I would... That one, and I'm going to go see Fast and Furious, are the two like I have to see in theaters. No, yeah, I was going to say, definitely see A Quiet Place in theater, as long as you can get a, a quiet theater, ironically. And the we contract. Had a, yeah. We had, a, it was me, uh, my girlfriend, and my little sister, and there's actually a decent amount of people in theater, but it was almost dead quiet, so I was really thankful. That's the way the first one was for me. Yeah. I've heard Dude, Cody had a different him. experience. And I think I heard, yeah, it was him. Yes, yeah, and that's the worst movie for that. I mean, Lip. it's annoying when people are doing that, but if it's like Avengers or something, you kind of just know yeah, that it's going to be like... Yeah, clap and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, The worst Whoa. thing was 
you could just hear like the people eating or like moving bags around or whatever. But I mean, people are going to do yeah. that no matter what. That's I didn't think I had that the first time. Really? People were fucking still. Yeah, it wasn't excessive. It wasn't like the digging through yeah. like a bag. Was, you could tell like people are trying <laughs> to be quiet. Like, and shit. Yeah, so it was hard to complain about anything that was happening. Yeah, I go to <laughs> the theater that I go to. I try not to name specifics because I don't want to tell where I am. But um, <laughs> the theater that I go to still it never was as popular for some reason. And right now, every theater I, or every movie I've gone to since this shit happened, there's been like one person there maybe. That's how it was for a good while until – I think Mortal Kombat was the person I went to where it was sold out. Okay. And then, I mean, sold out for what they offer. Obviously, it's not they're not completely full yet. Yeah. They're rocking like forty percent capacity. But since then, all of them had a minimum of like ten people, which isn't great. But then a lot of them had like twenty or thirty people in there or higher. I, th- I think I read that uh, Quiet Place like broke some records. That's what I heard. Yeah, I didn't yeah. read too much about it, but it, it uh, box office records, which is sweet. Um, especially at this time in uh, life that's yeah, breaking shit so that's cool Um, for reference Tuesday I could go at 10pm that's not bad or I might do that in the uh, biggest screen there are there's 22 seats taken out of 100 so are I, they still putting blockers up like other theaters are too? Yeah, all, all these are still in. seats. Like these are all <laughs> the spacing. Well, but like, like the theaters we go to, if one ticket sells and they sell the next ones to it. Oh no! See, they uh, do two, and then they'll block two off, and then they'll do two, block two off. But honestly, these are the best seats right here. You know what I'm saying? Five dollars. <laughs> it's Tuesday, remember? Oh my God, I'm definitely going. Ten. I'm buying that ticket after this. I'm definitely going. 10 o'clock on Tuesday, I will let you know All right. on Wednesday. Yeah, you can do that or you can fill in fill in on a show, whatever you prefer. I will. We'll have a little mini discussion. Yeah, We're I'm probably going to start doing that a little bit more, too. Just talking about movies. Little, yeah. Because we like other things than sports. Yeah. Okay. That's all I've been up to. What have you been up to? I have been working a little bit. Not as much because we were supposed to go to New York City this past weekend or this weekend right here. And the forecast showed nothing but pouring rain every single day. Did it not rain once? No, it rained a good amount from what okay. I could see. Yeah, I was worried about that, but yeah, it seemed pretty accurate. Not quite as bad they were saying, but definitely rain majority yeah. of the time and not like subtle rain. Why were you going to New York again? <laughs> Just to go back again to okay. get more pizza, yeah. do the things we didn't get to, go to the World Trade Center. Who is we? Me and Danielle again, okay. my girlfriend. Okay. And uh, so... We delayed it, so we're still going to go in August, so I'm excited kind of see uh, what it's like then, and hopefully we don't get another weekend of rain. Do you know what fucking day? If you fuck me on this. Um, how would I fuck you? What day are you going? The 13th or the 16th or something? You fucking motherfucker. Wait, are you about to reference the, uh, I think I have it in here later. Is that when the Broncos play? Yeah, we play our preseason game. We still haven't talked on the podcast. I had that in here for a week. We play the 20th. Oh, okay. Yeah, we definitely won't be gone then. Nice. You fucking you almost fucked me. We'll talk about that later. Don't worry, because I don't know how we haven't talked about that yet. That we play each other? Well, it's preseason. Yeah. That's why. No, I know, but it's the name of our show. I know. know. Um, All right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, you're good. So, that was a bit of a bummer, but it's delayed, not canceled. So, something to look forward to. And just made the most of this weekend. I had a time off still, so... Just did a lot of random stuff. Went to, uh, well, I hung out with my niece today. We hung out with her and did a bunch of little kid stuff. So that was fun because I haven't seen her very often. And then um, we've just been doing a bunch of stupid stuff. We tried a couple pizza places. A couple? Yeah. Today? Uh, this over this week. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, Casey, I know you. We were, oh, I don't want to name places. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to name places when we do pop. Yeah, we went to. Fuck it. I've had it before, but. We mainly been trying to find New York places. Well, yeah. actually, I guess both these I've had, but new to her. Um, Borgata's. Oh, yeah, yeah. And because I got it, and I think I hated it when I was younger because there's ch- huge chunks of tomatoes, but I'll try it again. Mm-hmm. There wasn't, and it tasted good, but we got really light sauce. So I'm wondering if they were in there because mm-hmm. it kind of had that taste. You can usually tell when a, a pizza has chunky sauce by the taste. Maybe I, maybe yeah, I'm just I just freak, but I can't. But... 
Danielle will tell you it's accurate most times. Yeah, no, I'm um, sure it is, you weirdo. <laughs> and then one night, oh, no, we didn't try it together. Papa Giorgio's, or Giorgio's, however you want to say yeah, it. Yeah, I've never had it. But uh, it's really good, and I know with that one review that Ryan did, I was talking about how oh. the slice didn't, yeah, that place. Yeah. It didn't seem like a New York as far as a big piece. And you were saying how it had two different styles, if you remember that. Mm -hmm. And I called them. They said they don't. They said they do have two different styles, but their style is the hand-tossed and uh, Sicilian. Uh, so, oh, Sicilian's a thick, the yeah. thick uh, squares, right? Yeah, so we got the biggest pizza. I was hoping now it's for you New York slices, but it's still the same. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It tasted good, though, so that's the biggest thing that matters. We're, I, oh, sorry. I think with our uh, pizza reviews, by the way, I'm just gonna get what you get, like what we we should, because I oh, can't eat one? that much pizza. Like we just get one big one and we'll just split it. No, that's fine by me. I always get cheese, and people say that's how you got to review stuff anyway. So I think you should review it with the thing you like the most. But cheese is the most basic form, and you should yeah. probably judge it by that. But oh, yeah, that would help care. me not get my own pizza and eat the whole thing. And it'll look better on the podcast. Just have a big fucking pizza sitting here and digging. Similar it. to our. There's no way you're gonna watch it this far to put it back in. <laughs> We'll see about that. You're probably right. Um, wow. Did you mute that? I did. I bet mine still got it. Probably. That was, it was hurting how deep it was. So we went to both those to try and uh, capture a little bit of New York is mm -hmm. why we did that. That makes uh, sense. You didn't get to go. You need, you need some New York. Yeah, that's right. You could just come over to my house, dude. I could have walked past you and brushed past you really hard. Yeah, right. <laughs> shitty accent. <laughs> And then uh, tried to get in my car and then moved five feet and then stopped for an hour and a half. Yeah, everybody was super polite these places and not <laughs> rushing or anything, so I guess not true experience. I could have made you a pizza and then thrown it at you and cussed at you. Wouldn't even go on Taylor Swift's uh, apartment street or anything. I can get her so. to come over if you need me to. We'll talk later. Okay. We don't want to let that out on the podcast. Um, we did some other stuff. I'm kind of blanking. But uh, tomorrow we're going to go to Cincinnati and go to the Reds game, so there's some sports for you. Nice. And uh, Kings Island. Oh, go ahead. You went to St. Louis. I did. I did, did you? Go, you went to the hockey game that you said you oh, might yeah. on the podcast. I did. We'll talk about that after this. Yeah, we got gotcha. you. Um, was that already in your notes to talk about? It is, but I don't care okay. how we talk about it. Um, but we're going to Cincinnati. Go to the Reds game. Kings Island. I haven't been there that yet this season. I've been craving an amusement park. Me I want to go to Cedar Point bad. We're probably only going to be there for a couple hours, which might not sound worth it, but we have season passes, and we're going to... We Red should go anyways. to Cedar Point. Oh, I'm down. On a Saturday. Day. I'm off that day. It would be busier, but I'm off that day, so I'm fine with we that. We should do, like, a whole day. Oh, no, I'm fine with that. The only reason we're only going a couple hours is because we're doing the Reds game, and it's on the way, so... <clears throat> or maybe you take off a random Monday or Tuesday. Oh, I could do that. Dude, we should talk about busy. that soon. All right. And then we're going to try, have you heard of flying pizza? Flying? Uh -huh. Flying Jays? No. Flyers? No. No, I've never heard of it. I guess there's a, me and Dean always talk about there's not enough uh, pizza by slice places here because that's the best. You I know? agree. <clears throat> yeah. I get why there isn't, but it sucks. I think downtown there could be some more besides fucking Mikey's, but in general. I don't I think there, there is isn't. that many. There's one by my house, but it is okay. Yeah. So it's I like guess. It. This place, I guess, was in downtown Columbus, and everybody loved it. And they do New York style by the slices. Mm -hmm. And it closed uh, downtown quite a Sabaro. while ago. Yeah. And uh, but there's still a few around Ohio, and one of them's in Dayton. So we're gonna go on our way down to Cincinnati. What is it? It's called Flying Pizza. Oh, you tried it? No, you're good. So we're gonna try that, and then go to the Reds game, go to Kings Island, and then probably cap the night off with getting some CC, some classic pizza. Oh, man. So that's the plan for the trip. I want to go to CC's and try to eat 100 pieces. <laughs> Not like myself, but like total, we eat 100. That's something we want to try and figure out long term with the podcast. Maybe take the show on the road to be able to eat these pizzas fresh and have the environment There's other pizza place. Be I was, you know who Andy Milanakis is? He streams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he does IRL streams, like on the go. Mm -hmm. He has like a backpack with like a server in it and shit. Uh, I don't think we need all that. No. But... Like phones connected to Twitch or YouTube, but I was like, if he can do it and have good quality, there's gotta be a way. Oh, you know that's my just, dream. Because then we could travel Ohio and all around. I think I don't even think it'd be that hard. The problem at this point is scheduling. We'll talk. We'll figure it out. But right. for now, Tuesdays. 
pizza on this table. Besides that, I've been working a little. Like I said, I had time off. Um, did a little more Uber eating. Oh, nice. Just a couple more days. Um, it's staying pretty good for you? Yeah. As long as uh, my biggest thing is I'm still kind of learning what to accept and what not to accept. So I feel like the nights I haven't made a lot is kind of been my fault because I'm like, I don't want to do that much. Like, oh, yes. shoot, I should have done it. And then it's yeah. too late. It's not like you can go back and do it, which would be nice, but obviously I get that's It impossible. just goes to another guy, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, like you said, I went to St. Louis with my family. I talked about it a good amount in the uh, current backloggers, but uh, we can cover some here. And then maybe I'll talk about the uh, the game once we get into the show when we talk about NHL. Um, but we should try to shitload of food on a trip. So I guess I won't cover. I won't just make this a food podcast the entire we're time. Just getting right into the food and sports talk. I only tried one pizza though. Yeah, um, pizza in St. Louis sucks. It does, and they have a their own brand of pizza called St. Louis Pizza. It's fucking ass, and there's a place in particular called Imos that is well known, and it's no. terrible. Okay, is that the place you tried? Not this time. Try it twice, and it sucks ass. Okay. It like tastes like an overpriced cheese nip. They use this really weird blend of cheese, and then is cheddar one of them. No, American is one of them, which what is what makes it weird. And then they, okay, they have their own name for it. It's all fucking weird. And okay. then their crust is like literally cracker. Not I know people say that about thin crust because they don't like it. I'm fine with thin crust. No, I, I know the difference between thin and cracker. Uh, yeah, it'll a... fucking crunch and it's not good. I, I like that stuff. I don't oh. I don't love it, but I, there was a place, Iconos in Hilliard and Cracker Crust and I was all about it. They had a buffet is why I was all about it. Yeah. The best pizza I've had there yet, ironically, was at the game. It was just like a big slice of pizza and not St. Louis style. Sorry. And it, it was uh, just okay, but that was better than any real St. Louis pizza I've had. Okay. But besides that, we had other non-pizza food. We had Fuddruckers, which I love. You do. Um, Portillo's on the way there and the way back because it's so good. Double dip, yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, I'll get it eventually. CC's, we had that when we were there. There's a CC's in St. Louis? Yep. Nice. Um, I need to get this shit together. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Open those all back up. <laughs> A um, few other places we ate, I can't remember exactly, but we went to a city museum. That's where I got these, these scars on me. Um, would you like to hear about the? Oh, I told you about that, sorry. You did, you did. Yeah, and I talked on the other podcast. Oh, so Then fucking okay. go watch that. People. Yeah, that's right. Um, but city museum is one of my favorite places in the world. If you haven't been there, you go to St. Louis. I've been sure to St. Louis, so I have not been there. We need to change. I don't know if you would like it, actually. It's, really? Yeah, I think it seems like might. something I'd like. You think so? Hearing you and Nick talk about it, is it? I didn't know if I, I like feel museums like... a lot. Well, it's not like a museum. Well, I like fun, ridiculous. I can't believe you're allowed to do this type of things. Also, like really active and getting sweaty and like yeah, say, especially now. Uh, especially yeah. now. Oh, then maybe would I thought because you have to have a certain mindset for that. If you don't, that's just really annoying and not fun. And I know if you were into that kind of stuff. No, it, it, if I was over three hundred pounds still. I probably wouldn't like it. Yeah, there's some fucking real confined spaces there. It's nuts what they do. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, maybe give me another six months and when I'm, you know, back to a real weight. I'll go there again. Portillo's is on the way. And when I hit my goal weight, we'll celebrate by going to Portillo's <laughs> in the city museum. All right, break. Um, went to Union Station, which is their own old trading station. I've been there. Oh, have you? Yep. It's a really cool area. They have uh, the aquarium, Ferris wheel. All kinds of amusement shit around there. But just had a really good trip with my family and then went to the game, which we'll talk about later on. Did you go to the Arch? Oh, yeah. We, of course, we went to the kind Arch. Kind of underwhelming? Yeah. I've been there three times. So okay. underwhelming for me, but the first time I really liked it, actually. Did you go inside of it and do mm-hmm. all of it? Really? I did you go was, up? Yeah. I thought that part was sweet. Oh, okay. We did a uh, – and you know how much I hate Ohio State. Mm-hmm. We did a uh, – it was one of the letters, the H maybe? Would it have been an O? H. Maybe it was one of the letters. I don't I mean, know. It's not really an O, but you get maybe, to we, work. maybe we thought that the two arms were an H. I don't know. Because your, your arms kind of. Yeah. I don't know what we did, but it was one of the letters. Okay. Maybe it was the I and we blocked out one of the sides. But I participated in that. Well, you used to say Ohio State was your second favorite team. You're like, oh, she's my team. Yeah. So. Well, it was before they were loud. And I understood how much I hated things. So did you. No, you didn't even hate them then. Mm, definitely yeah yeah because <laughs> i was pretty mature in my sports fandom at that point that was my first i don't want to lie here 
I think that was my first Seahawks game ever, which is why we were in St. Louis. Rams Seahawks. We lost. Oh, that's another crime that the Rams got taken away like that. Most St. Louis fans are completely against the Rams, but there's some fans that oh, still definitely. support them. Oh, yeah. They're all about it. I don't get it. I don't either, especially because the fuck the Rams, mainly. FTR, it's a real thing. <clears throat> um, one thing that we did, and I don't think I talked about in the current back hours, we went to a casino. Ooh, Nick told me about this a little bit. Did he tell you how they still smoke there? And No, that so- didn't surprise me. I think they still smoke at the one here, too. They at least have smoking sections. Say maybe that, but definitely not to the extent. I don't think they do. Maybe, maybe they. I don't know. I haven't been in years, so I don't know. Yeah, because you can tell it was like the doubles or like the you open the doors and then there's a area and another set of doors. Yeah. You open that first set of door and you could just fucking inhale the smoke. I was like, oh my god, I can taste it. This is terrible. I started getting lightheaded. Yeah, and it was so bad that they had multiple. Um, Cigarette vending machines inside there. That's fucking awesome. Those are like a delicacy. So much smoke, I couldn't do it. There was Um, a vending machine when we went to the draft for cigarettes in uh, that restaurant that we went to. That I can't remember the name of. Guys, guys, was there? That's not surprising at that place. My buddy Justin like freaked out. What the fuck? We haven't seen one of these in forever. Yeah, I didn't notice that. At least uh, have one in Hound Dogs. They would have one there. We went. uh, I go on cruises sometimes. I've been on two. I don't want to sound like I go on cruises all the time. Um. But they always have a big casino on cruises, and you can smoke in there, and uh, it's crazy. I'm not in somebody that, well, you've been around me. Many people I've been around smoke. I'm not somebody that's like, oh, God, as soon as I see one. But when I opened the doors and couldn't breathe, I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, this it gets is... overwhelming. I've become kind of a, like a, whoa. I've be- I still crave cigarettes. I was telling Nick about this all the time. It's been... And August 1st, it'll be seven years since I've had a cigarette. And I still crave them. But it's getting to the point where I see smokers, I'm like, oh, that's weird that people still do that. <laughs> oh, it's definitely more rare, yeah. Um, when we were kids, and my mom did it all the time. But I still can't her. believe she just quit. That's <laughs> the craziest shit. <laughs> oh, that's so badass. But, uh, yeah, I think that would even be, like, too much for me walking into some- – like, at the casino on the cruise ship, you're like, oh, cigarettes. Yeah. If anything, it's like, I could definitely smoke and lose some money for sure. That sounds awesome. Because <laughs> you're also, like, drunk the whole time, at least tipsy, because you have 15 alcoholic beverages a day to, like, fill up. So you just have to keep drinking. Um, It's so hard to drink there. I had to try to drink all my drinks. Like, it wasn't even fun toward the end. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, you could lose some time, some money in that casino. But I also really wanted to smoke when I was in there. But I can't imagine it in, like, a cas- – well, I went to a Kentucky Derby. Not an actual Kentucky Derby, but I bet on horses, and they could smoke in there. That felt the most manly thing ever. I was still a smoker at that point, too. Mm-hmm. So I was smoking cigarettes, betting on horses. Ah, American dream. <laughs> that was a tangent of smoking, sorry. Oh, you're good. That's crazy. They still smoke inside that much, though. Yeah, it was. I didn't realize how lightheaded I was until I escaped the place. And holy shit, the fresh air. Did your stomach, did you feel sick? Just really lightheaded. Nothing worse Uh, than that. But on occasion, I'll hit my sister's vape. Just to, you know, this is what I do. Um, But I don't, I do it so rare. But I forget. And so when you have it in your hand... You'll, and we usually do when we're watching movies. So, and like 20 minutes later, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm so lightheaded because I don't do nicotine ever. Yeah. And so it just makes me fucking so sick to my stomach. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Anything random you want to talk about besides? No, I've talked about so much random shit. Apparently, I'm a ball of random today. <laughs> All right. Well then we can uh, try and check one thing there. All right, I think I got it here. But uh, we can get a normal show then if you want. Sure. We can start with the MLS. The crew won their last game 2-1 to one over Toronto. Nice. So I talked last week. They were in 11th place in um, the Eastern Conference. But I talked about how the crazy thing is they were in 11th and there's only 14 teams, but how they were really not that far back if you looked at the points. They yeah. won. They played two games, won both of them since uh, we last recorded. And now they're in sixth place with 11 points. 
and that's a playoff spot. So that's how the mar how big the margin or how small the margin was, I guess. Um, a weird stat here is they started the year as a Columbus Crew SC, as we know, and were one, two, and zero. So one win, two draws, no losses. There are two games they played as a Columbus SC. They were 0, 0 and two, so <laughs> two losses. And now they're a Columbus Crew. They're two and zero. They threw on purpose. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Um, I think that's just more obviously a coincidence because it's kind of a weird stat. I guess it is possible maybe that it was distracting, not because they care about the city, the team name, but just because so many media questions and everything. I know that when they were talking about moving the crew, every player said that there's not a distraction and that's yeah. just off field. But then as soon as they, uh, the team announced they were staying, uh, yeah, it was a huge distraction last season. And oh, yeah, I bet it was hard to good. keep it off your mind. So. Uh, I think that is a possibility. I think more likely, though, it's just a crazy weird stat that I found. Um, but that was all with MLS. I usually only touch on the crew because, like I said, that's the reason I follow MLS. Do you have any NBA stuff in there? I don't, so if you do. Well, the playoffs are happening. That's right. So we should probably just at least keep on track of that. So I don't really follow basketball. Is the play-in for the playoff always a thing? No, they added that this year. That is fucking incredible. Yeah, that. MLB did it two years ago. I think that NBA kind of. I'm down. That was some of the most exciting shit I've ever watched. <laughs> and like, this is going to sound like, oh, fuck you. But I don't follow basketball. And you've already heard me talk last week and how I like to root for who's good when I don't really care about the thing, right? So that's why I was like a Red Wings fan for a little bit. I like watching Golden State. Oh. I know. I like Steph Curry a lot. He's. Oh, he's Definitely he's, good. I'm not going to deny that. He also seems him. like a good guy. You think so? I think he seems like, a major seems like it. Maybe on the him. court, he seems like a douche. But everything I've seen off the court, he seems great. You know, he's another Ohio guy, too. As Is he? Part. Yeah, he's oh. from Akron, just like LeBron. That's, he's so fucking good. Watching him play basketball is incredible. Uh, so watching them do the play in, that was oh, so awesome. And I don't even like basketball. And they fucking lost, which I'm sure everybody was happy about. But yeah. it was a great game, so I didn't really care. Um, so I wanted to touch on that. If that's a thing that's happening, I'm all in. I love that. Um, so the Milwaukee Bucks are just destroying the Heat. They're up 4-0 in the series, which I think wins the series. Win, yeah. So they're forward. Uh, Trailblazers and the Nuggets. The uh, series is tied 2-2. The 76ers are destroying the Wizards. Wizards are Westbrook now, right? Yeah. Westbrook's one of those guys I like to watch too, but I don't. He seems just weird. But I really like Westbrook, and I wanted. He's he's always the guy that triple doubles, average throughout the whole season somehow. And I think he also has the most triple doubles ever, and that was just broken. I think. Yeah, I probably guess all that. Um, but like he can't pull it off in the playoffs, so I was kind of rooting for him. Apparently, that's not going well. Down, down, down three. Uh, Jazz and Grizzlies. I have a soft spot for the Jazz because of John Stockton. Do you know who that is? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, growing up, he was always a three point shooter in the yeah. basketball games. It's the only reason why I have a soft spot. Oh, um, two to one. Jazz are winning. Uh, or Jazz are leading. Hawks, Knicks. Uh, don't know. Don't care. Atlanta's leading, which are the Hawks. 3 1. Suns Lakers is tied two two, which is interesting. I've been watching a little bit of Lakers mainly because it's like all they show. Oh yeah. Uh, the the big bad three, the big bad trio, uh, Durant, Harden, Irving, yeah. Irving uh, on the Nets. Just I like the Celtics a little bit too. Mainly, I don't know. I like their colors maybe, but uh, fuck the Nets mainly. Uh, but they're leading three to one, so that one's probably over. Clippers Mavericks is tied 2-2. Clippers wipe the floor with the Mavericks. So that's a little uh, basketball update. Where are the Cavaliers doing? How, how's it shaping up? Oh, they're uh, in it. Uh, they've already advanced to the finals. Oh, this kind of is like, hey, who wants to play the Cavaliers to yeah, lose? Yeah, this is all just a uh, – and then they'll be – so like, there's two conferences still, one of them just be in third place. Yeah, I'll just wait till they get to the Cavs and watch them. Yeah. Might be a little bit, like October-ish. Maybe a few years from now, yeah. maybe. <laughs> well, they'll start again. Yeah. I think around October is when the basketball season starts. Oh, no, I just mean until the Cavaliers have the chance to be there. Yeah, that might be a few years. years. <laughs> yeah, it might be a few years. might be a little ways away on that one. <laughs> so that's, an, that's a little NBA update. 
Yeah, feel mainly free. I just wanted to talk about the fucking pl- plan. That thing was sweet. No, talk about NBA or anything whenever you want, but definitely NBA. I feel like we should definitely I... talk about it more than we do. Yeah, that's when I follow the least, and Cavaliers my team, so that's uh, even more reason not to follow it very closely. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a <laughs> Thunder fan, kind of. Yeah. And a Bulls and a, I guess, Wizards. Cavs. I don't like basketball that much, <laughs> so it's Curry. I might just be a Golden State fan until Seattle <laughs> gets a team. I guess maybe one thing to potentially get uh, talking about basketball more is when NCAA starts. Cause I follow the Buckeyes, and they're usually oh, decent, okay. so yeah. that could help maybe. I can't believe we didn't do anything with March Madness. Yeah. It's okay. Now anyway. We'll be in the role, and oh, yeah. we can bet like, the next pizza on or something. That could be fun. To that would be fun. I'm down. Could see, people could see the – Maybe we'll get it so big, this podcast, that we'll just sponsored. start putting thousands of dollars. Oh, I, I was hoping we could just get sponsored pizzas. On oh, head. that would be sweet as fuck. <laughs> get sponsored by like Grubhub or something. Yeah. Um, okay, that's it okay. for basketball. So MLB, I usually touch on the main teams that I like, obviously. So I'm not and I, just and I give a nice Mariners Indians yeah. update. So I'm not just thinking these are the only teams that exist in uh, these leagues. By the way, I just they are. didn't know it's the most I know about these teams. What What are you seeing? Mariners ain't doing too bad. No, I mean they're not great. You want to touch on yours first? Sure. They went back to average, so they're 27-27. Okay. They had that crazy stretch that I was talking about where they played the Padres and then the Athletics. They got swept by the Padres. 16-1 to was the first game. 6-4. to uh, 9-2. And then they played the Athletics, and they beat them 2-3. of three. So that's not bad. Then they played the Rangers and got swept all four games. No, 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 no. They swept them all four games. Yeah, 5-0, 3-2, 3-2, 4-2. 4-2. And then they played the Athletics again. They might be – I mean, beating the Athletics that many times has to do some – nope, still four games out. <laughs> but still, that's, they're one game out from second, unless they take losses into account because um, Houston has three less losses, but only one more win. Yeah, it should. Okay. So they're three and a half games out of first. It's not bad. Uh, the so they're they're back to average. The Indians, the baseball team. Can you not look up the Indians right now? <laughs> Cleveland <coughs> Indians. Oh oh oh! There we go. Oh shit! I was on watch. They are twenty eight and twenty three, so they're doing good. What about standings? They're in second. They're three and a half games behind first also. So they're doing good. They're 28 and 23. That is all for the teams that I even remotely care about. Mine's not much better. The Reds are 23 and 28. That's uh, about where, I mean, uh, obviously more games. I think it's about the same placement they were last time we talked. They're six games back. I think they were four and a half last time. Okay. But I think they're staying about the same range. I think the Cardinals have just gained more ground on them because they keep winning. Gotcha. Um, some crazy things have happened recently. Jesse Winker, the outfielder for the Reds, hit three home runs in one game. I saw this guy play quite a few times um, watching the Clippers because they would play the uh, Louisville Bats, and that's the Reds minor league team, and mm-hmm. that's the Clippers' main team they play. So I saw him play a lot, and I didn't know that. I don't think he was supposed to be a big time prospect, but he's fucking destroying in the major leagues. So it's weird seeing that after watching him in the minor leagues so many times and not really thinking anything about him. Because I'll go to Clippers games; they're my minor league team, but it's kind of weird rooting for him because they're the Indians minor league team, and mm-hmm. they put their red, their rival is the Reds minor league team. So I'm like, I kind of that is weird. I but want these players to do good, and that's who I like. But it's also my home team. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So it's a weird thing about that, but uh, he hit three home runs in one game recently, and him and Nick Castellanos are leading the entire league in batting average. They're one and two in the entire league, and the rest are twenty three and twenty eight. So, yeah, pretty fucking crazy stat. But uh, and then Nick Castellanos uh, extended his hitting streak today to sixteen uh, sixteen straight games. So, isn't some, pitching an issue with the Reds? Isn't yeah. that their big like? Yeah, and they lost Trevor Bauer. That was a. Uh, I know that name. 
Yeah, because he played for the Indians. Yeah, that's who that's traded why. for him. And he did. He won the Cy Young for the Reds last year. But then he's a free agent and got uh, the biggest contract from the Dodgers, so it's hard to blame the Reds. Was it like $600 million or something crazy? Yeah, something disgusting. And the Reds are a small market team to begin with, and Trevor Bauer has been so up and down that he's doing good again right now, but I can't blame him for not doing that. And if you had another downfall, you're fucked for her. So it oh, sucks. Yeah, do you but do, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I think they could have uh, went somewhere in between that and try and find some more pitching help. But like I said, as long as they stay around 500 and then get to the point where if they want to do something at trade, trade deadline or whatever, as long as you're in that range, then you have a chance at the playoffs. Um, let me look here. Couple other interesting things. Did you hear about uh, Zach Plastic, the uh, Indians pitcher? This is a real headline. He broke his thumb while, quote, aggressively taking off his shirt. And I thought it was like clickbait, but uh, they said he had a really bad game and tried to rip off his shirt and broke his thumb when he did it. Was, that's fucking awesome. That's so dumb. <laughs> You really gotta be so mad. There's gotta be something like taped, like his hand had to be taped oh, yeah. in like a weird way or something. They said it got caught in a chair, so I don't know if he like sat down, uh, and like it yanked it, and then his thumb. Or like maybe he ripped it off and he like slammed it on the chair or something. Yeah. That, see, that even still seems a little clickbaity because I guarantee <laughs> that's what happened. I don't know. Hopefully there's video. Because I'm imagining someone week. just in the open ripping their shirt off and his shirt like got tangled on his thumb. That's what I thought. I don't know if there is video. I'll try and figure yeah. out see if we can find it. If there's a chair involved, I would think he hit it on the chair at least. Um, That's funny. Just one other – actually, one thing that I didn't talk about probably three weeks ago now, but I feel like you should be caught on because it's such a big deal. The Reds turned a triple play a few weeks ago, which is some one of the most rare things in baseball. And I forgot to talk about that in here. So I, I feel like I should. time in the show. Do you? No. I was going to say, that would be impressive even in a video game. No, I don't I've, I've, <laughs> no, I've definitely done one. But... <clears throat> Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's obviously easier in a video game, but that's still kind of yeah, crazy. I think I play on easy also. So Okay. Yeah. Um, this one was just kind of interesting. It was uh, Josh Darnelson scored the two millionth run in MLB history today, which is just a – obviously, that's the entire league, but that was yeah. just weird seeing that kind of stat. It's a lot of, a lot of goals or yeah. scores. Runs. The <sighs> scores work too. That's true. Um, then we could talk about the uh, NHL. You have anything you want to talk about there? Nope. <laughs> Go cracking. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> I don't think they've done anything. I guess I can look at their Twitter, but I haven't seen anything. I think the expansion draft's coming up soon. Thank God. At least I can look at something. <laughs> I won't. I, I won't know anything. That I can at least help you with, because then I'll, it'll be known players. I'll be like, yeah, I don't know what the hell they're thinking, or yep, they fucking stole everybody good. No, they're still talking about Luke Henman. <laughs> nope, nothing nope. new. Nope. So, all right. A um, couple things that I want to touch on. I forgot. When we're talking about John Torrell, I feel like I just keep talking about the same things each week. But I keep forgetting shit. But we're talking about him getting fired, and uh, we're talking about how he had one bad year, and that's what did it in. I think it's even more silly aside from the COVID year and everything happening because something I didn't mention to you is last year they finished in the play or they made the playoffs. And if you look at um, any fan or even expert, they were picking the Blue Jackets to be a bottom feeder. Mm-hmm. So even if you want to say he underperformed this year, because like I said, I do think the roster is good. And I wouldn't be shocked that they're good next year, which people might just be like, oh, the coach saved it. Yeah, but if you want to play that game, I think you have to play it both ways. And if he had a team that was supposed to finish dead uh, close to dead last last year and took him to the playoffs, that's that definitely says something. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like obviously that shows something was odd this year. Um, and then I was talking about um, John Davison getting re-signed as the Blue Jackets, the uh, president of the Blue Jackets. Yep. And that same day, they I forgot to mention they extended Yarmo Kekalainen, which is their GM, and that's why I said they kind of work together yep. amazingly, so I should have mentioned that when I was talking about it. Um, and then there's rumors starting now that Seth Jones, which I know that's why I'm I saying I like no. him. Three. Yeah, there's rumors. He signed just for this year that he oh, said no. he's not going to um, negotiate with the Blue Jackets mm-hmm. and they'll become a free agent. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's, tr- if that's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that better? I feel like it's farther away. I don't care. I just. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, 
So I don't know if that's true. I hope it's not. He's good, but he doesn't want to talk with them. That's a. It's not from him, but that's what an NF, uh, NHL reporter said. It's from his agent. I was gonna say I hope it's an agent negotiating or uh, negotiating tactic, but also. The Blue Jacks just seem to have the fucking worst luck yeah, with every just player. Be, just he like, yep, I don't want to be here, which I don't fucking understand. And if it is going to be that, you can't have another situation where you just let a player play here. It would start to get rid of him, but you got to get something, especially with somebody his caliber, not going to just get yeah. a low-round pick or get something really good for him, which would suck. He's going to be a free agent after this year? Yeah, God, and goes, unrestricted. So. There goes fucking trade leverage, too. Yeah. So I don't necessarily believe it, but at the same time, I can see why people are riled up with the history of Blue Jacks pad with terrible luck with this shit. Um, and then I guess I could talk about the uh, experience I had that I referenced last week of going to the Avalanche. I can't game. believe you actually went. Me either, if I'm being honest with you. It was one of those was, things, I, I think I looked on your Facebook story or something, I was like, that motherfucker went. <laughs> he actually went to St. Louis with his family <laughs> and fucking went to a hockey game by yourself? Yes, sir. Yep. No, I couldn't believe I did either. I was like, no, I don't want to leave you guys. I'm having fun. And I was like, you're not going to be able to do this again. Just go. And I was like. Can't argue that logic. Yeah, I was like, I literally, this is the exact thing I said. I was like, I, the Avalanche to begin with are hard to be able to see because they play in Colorado. And then being up 3 nothing in playoffs and a chance to sweep the away team, how often is that going to happen again? And hopefully not often because that would more than likely be against Blue Jackets. So I don't want to see that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. Because the Avalanche were my team growing up until we got a team in Columbus because the Avalanche were around before the Blue Jackets. So they're always my secondary team. If they're playing each other, I want the Avalanche to get destroyed. Mm -hmm. But the Blue Jackets aren't around. I've always rooted for the Avalanche. What seems real bandwagoning now because they're the best team in the league. I've heard you talk about the Avalanche. Yeah, I know. you know So just, long ago. Yeah. Um, so it was hard to pass up this opportunity. And the tickets were uh, like 75 which is not cheap. Uh, it's not bad but either. No, for and a I got off game. Yeah, and I got lower. But I don't know if you could tell in the picture, but they were really they good tickets. Good, good seats, yeah. Yeah, it was fucking. It seemed like a scenario movie. It wasn't real. <laughs> did um, they win? They did. Oh, they. Yep, they won the game. Won the series. Swept them four nothing. Was Oshie there? I think it was. I never heard his name. Well, it makes want? sense if you're losing that much. We've talked about Oshie so much. I, I still don't even. I'm not even 100 sure he's still in the Blues. I was gonna say I'll check that since because I know he got moved around. So let's see. I think he's a Seahawks fan. I Is think he? that's why I like him. Let me look. You look that oh, up. Oh, yikes. This up. He's for a team I hate. He plays for the Capitals now. Okay. So that's probably why I still hear his name because they're a rival of the Blue Jackets. And so you play him a lot. I'm following him. <laughs> I'm like pretty positive this guy's a Seahawks fan. Which honestly could be the reason. Yeah, there's so much Capitals shit on here. I should have just known. Yeah, I should have too. His fucking rival of the Blue Jackets. But I hear his name so much that makes sense um I'll i'm be, i'm i'm listing i'm oh just yeah, scrolling through his twitter looking yeah it's a really entertaining game too because the blues scored first so there's like all the excitement of the crowd and everything which was actually fun to be around it was a let me start with this i talked about in the other podcast but it was a. <laughs> there's also one of these though so i don't know what that means oh washington oh yeah yeah so yeah he's a seahawks fan Seattle, Washington. Hey. Um, this was a weird experience I've never had at a sporting event because, for one, like I said, the Avalanche are my secondary team, and they were a team I liked before, the Blue Jackets. Really and quick, he raised the 12th man flag at a home game. He's a big Seahawks fan. <laughs> All right, that's it. So... It was weird because before we had the Blue Jackets, they were like the Broncos or like the Blue Jackets. They were, it was kind of like, it sounds cheesy, but there's no other way to top that. It was like, it felt like it was in my blood. Like, I just, that was my team. Yeah. And they're still my secondary team. But it was odd. When they scored, I would get excited. But when the Blue Jacks scored, I can like literally feel it. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. And it was an odd feeling when the Avalanche scored. Cause I'm excited and it's cool. <laughs> but I don't like have this attachment, which was yeah. odd. And I kind of expected to. And then I get that. even more so because St. Louis, none of the fans were being assholes. And there's actually a random guy sitting next to me. He got a ticket the last minute. And he was a St. Louis fan. He said, yeah, man, I've lived here my whole life. And he's had casual conversation with me. And when the Avalanche went up, he wasn't didn't act like an asshole. 
It's just so weird. I, I can't feel like even... it's got to be hard to be an asshole when you're down 3 nothing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. I feel it didn't stop Browns fans when they've been the worst team for like 20 well, years. They just have huge fucking gaping mouths. They're just <laughs> foam of saliva and <laughs> shit. But it was so weird because being in a away stadium, I'm not going to lie, part of it is like the fun of like, man, I'm in enemy territory and – like, the Browns game was I don't try and cause issues because I know all those assholes. Yeah. Or at the Bengals. But definitely it is fun when we start winning and being like, have fun trash talk. Mm-hmm. But this, I was like, for one, I don't feel like like a connection like I do with Blue Jackets. And on top of that, the team isn't even being assholes. They're down 3 nothing. The Avalanche, the Blues are a good team, and the Avalanche are making them look fucking terrible. Which is, like I said, a compliment to the Avalanche, not a diss on the Blues. No, it's because they so, don't have Oshie. <laughs> So it was a really weird experience, but the game itself was really entertaining because the Blues went up one nothing. so you had the excitement of the crowd and got to experience that. And then the Avalanche tied it, and then they scored the next uh, two goals, so it was 3-1. to one. Mm-hmm. And then St. Louis scored, and then it was 3-2, to two, and then there was like nonstop of them almost scoring, so it was so exciting even being on the, the yeah. uh, other side. And then they, it was ended up being 5-2. to two. But they scored two empty net goals, yeah. so it was way closer than it seemed. And then, uh, so it was, uh, I'm definitely glad I went. But, yeah, I, when I said it, I was 99% joking and, like, 1% like, I wish I could go. Yeah. So I did not expect to be there either. <laughs> no, I'm not that surprised. But I'm, I mean, I'm definitely <laughs> shocked that you actually did it, but I knew you would try to find a way. <laughs> I just didn't think it would actually happen. No, and if I did, I thought it would be, like, Thirty dollar tickets to like the top of the arena yeah. or something. I mean, yeah. Wh- I mean, how often are you gonna be in St. Louis yeah. when and your secondary hockey team is playing <laughs> in the playoffs? So we can uh, touch in the series really quick. Right now, it's down to the Islanders, Bruins, the Hurricanes, Lightning, the Avalanche, and Golden Knights, and then the Capitals are waiting to figure out the. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens are in Game 7. Seems like the craziest series so far. Go Capitals. That's who I'm rooting for. That's Oshie, right? Um, yes. They are out. Fuck. I thought you said they were waiting. If I did, I said it wrong. I think I did say it wrong. No, the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, you said Washington is waiting. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, sure Fuck yeah. That sucks. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's okay. But oh, Avalanche. Doesn't matter. I don't care about and any of them. To uh, touch on a little bit of the series that have started so far, the Avalanche won tonight, 6-1 to one against the Golden Knights. Okay. The Avalanche seem like the best team by far. Like, it's uh, kind of crazy. The uh, Or 7-1, to one, sorry. I scored one more after the time I record this. Um, which is... Oh, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, I think that they're the clear cut favorite but at the same time I feel like the clear cut favorite just isn't an automatic win but it just they are fucking destroying so much to be odd if they didn't win it but we'll see the other series I was highly invested in the Hurricanes are down one nothing in the Lightning they lost 2-1 to one tonight and then okay. all the other series haven't started yet or played tomorrow gotcha so that's what I had for NHL I believe let me scroll past here yeah, is it besides the Seth Jones thing? We'll wait and see how that goes. So that takes us to NFL. You got anything there? Um, nothing hard, hard pressed. Nothing serious. Uh, Seahawks signed a random tight end that I've never heard of. Let me find his name. Cam Sutton. I have heard of him, but I don't know where or why. Let me tell you a little bit about Cameron Sutton. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Uh, Fresno Ooh. State tight end. Um. Okay. We waived Marcus Webb, which I know him. He was he wasn't gonna make it anyway. Um, we have six tight ends. Not enough. Not enough. He's six six, two hundred forty nine pounds. Um, there's not much on him. Six six, two forty nine. He hasn't played much or at all. <laughs> I thought. It- <clears throat> That they had, he had played before. Doesn't matter. We signed all of our draft picks. The German guy, Dunker, uh, he he got signed. That doesn't mean he's gonna make the team, but like, it's cool to know that every draft pick is signed and yeah. some other boys. The dude I was excited about, um, Scary Terry, 
Hurt. Hasn't done anything. <laughs> so that sucks. I really want him to make the team. Um, and then the other bit of Seahawks news, it's going to amount to nothing. Mm-hmm. It's fun to toy around with the idea. Uh, Seahawks and Falcons oh, yeah. are openly talking about a trade to the point where Russell Wilson has called Julio talking about what it's going to look like to team up. It's not going to happen because I think he's like the second highest paid receiver. And we have this Julio Jones, but younger on our team named DK Metcalf, who's going to need a lot. Of, he's not as good as Julio. I don't want to be that fucking guy. I think he has the potential <laughs> to be better, but um, he's going to demand some money. And that guy, Jamal Adams, that we gave up two first round picks for, also going to demand some money. I don't see how we do it. Maybe for a year rental. Mm-hmm. But I, I think if you're talking about trading, and people are talking about trading multiple picks, he's like old. I think he's still incredible. But definitely ain't worth no first or a second and a third. No. Mm, maybe I would be willing to do like a third this year and like a like a sixth or seventh or something next year. But like it can't be from the same draft and it can't be top. But it's just going to be a rental. So really, I don't even think I'd be into it. It would be cool. the idea of it. Oh, DK, Julio, Tyler Lockett, Dwayne Eskridge. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> It would be nasty. Um, but I, I don't think anything's going to come from it. But that's – so, like, we signed to some guys, and Julio might – there's a 2.5% chance that Julio Jones is going to be a Seahawk. Yeah, we'll keep that updated. It seems like it's a matter of time until it goes somewhere. Even if it's not the Seahawks, it seems like it's not going to be Atlanta. Yeah, my so. guess – I got one. Patriots. Oh, I fucking hate that. I could see it. Some people are saying the Broncos. I don't think that one's going to happen at all. My guess is the Ravens. Ooh. God, I would want to go somewhere with a better quarterback. I know Lamar Jackson's good. Okay. I've seen the stats. He doesn't pass this test. There's something about these guys that doesn't like him. Do you want to tell the audio listeners what these guys are? My eyeballs. He doesn't pass the eye test. <laughs> I don't know why. He, I don't I know. Sometimes he makes... How funny that'd be to listen to? No, I, I get it. <laughs> He makes incredible throws sometimes, but sometimes they just come out like fucking these wobbly yeah. ass. But I guess Peyton threw some ducks too. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. He just doesn't look as good. I don't know why. I don't know why. But he wants to go where he can win. Did you hear about the whole Julio situation? Yeah, a little bit. How Shannon Sharp called him. Oh, yeah. And, like, he might have known, but they're saying he didn't at all. And he was literally like, yeah, man, you going to be in Atlanta? Nah, man, I'm out of there. We broke the news. I don't think he knew, which would yeah. be super fucked up. Um, but he's definitely going somewhere. He ain't gonna be on the Falcons. Might be the Titans too. See that AJ one. Brown, who, who, who <laughs> Jones, Derrick Henry, Tannehill. That's pretty damn good offense. I can't believe Browns fans aren't talking about. They just seem any time. We don't need them. <laughs> we have Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham Jr., and something Higgins. We have more talent than he has in one bone. All right, sorry. It's all right. Baker would be the perfect fit for him, though, as he is the best deep ball thrower in the NFL. You know, I've seen three stats of that this, like this week. <laughs> the best deep ball thrower in the NFL, I think yesterday was Daniel Jones. Yeah, I was going to say, I know. I've seen something, but it wasn't. Baker Russell Wilson is legitimately the best deep ball thrower in the NFL currently, by the way. And that's not bias at all. That is factual. You can look it up the last nine years. That is a fact. Uh, two weeks ago, it was Baker Mayfield. I don't know who is. Russell Wilson. <laughs> Any NFL you want to talk about besides that? Um, I feel like there's Aaron Rodgers news. Isn't there always? Like he kind of re-upped on the I don't want to be here type of thing. But I don't want to say that and be wrong. Mm-hmm. But I feel that way. <clears throat> um, But no, I, I mean, I have, I've been kind of out of the – until – I mean, OTAs are starting – no no veteran Seahawks are there. Uh, but they said before that everyone's freaking out. Russell Wilson's not OTAs. Nobody's fucking there. The rookies are. There's 30 yeah. people there. Uh, but the Niners and, and, and um, Rams have all their guys there. They have new quarterbacks. They need to install an entire new system. They need to be there. So, no, not really. Just I think once mandatory camp starts, then we'll start having some juicy NFL gossip. Mm-hmm. 
But right now we got NHL hockey playoffs. We got NBA playoffs. Baseball is right in the heart of baseball. Football start. We'll have what big football news when when football like August? Yeah. Then we can talk some pigskin over football amongst other sports. Pigskin over pizza. Did pigskin. I say pigskin over football? Yeah. As you said that, I was like, I just said pigskin over football. Yeah. It's the peas that mess me up. I always get messed up on my peas. I just got a few NFL things. The first one, you referenced it earlier. The Broncos play the Seahawks in preseason. No, I didn't think it was important to go over the whole preseason schedule. I just thought that one was interesting. And it seems to always happen the Broncos play the we Seahawks do, in yeah, preseason. I, I think it's in Seattle, too. I think you're right. We so. play in Las Vegas for our first game. I get to see the stadium. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There you go. So that will be a fun game, especially because there's not anything really on it. So no real reason to hate each other. That would be fun. I don't even uh, think we were playing in the Super Bowl. We hated each other. No, but. you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and that will be uh, after Brohawks is no more, but it will still live on, you know. Yeah, maybe we can, we can talk a little uh, little Broncos Seahawks over some pizza. Mm. Over football, as the kids Pig say. Pigskins over football. <laughs> That's what I always say. Puff. Did you, did you see – since Tim Tebow got back in the league, he has the highest selling jersey in the yeah, league. Yeah, I did. That's <laughs> so fucking crazy. I hope he doesn't make it at this point. <laughs> I like Tebow as a person, not as like a professional football player. And at this point, I want all the people to feel stupid. You know how many Jaguars fans would be pissed? Did you see how fucking jacked he looks? Uh, yeah. Holy shit. I thought it was photoshopped. <laughs> oh, my God. So he's looking more like a tight end, at least. Pure I wonder like. how his blocking is. I wonder. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like he he's going to be fine at catching. Yeah, he might not have all the technique. I know it's not just your size, but I feel like his his right kind of mindset and attitude for blocking, where he's kind of like. I, I think technique he's not like is a so pretty quarterback. important, though. Yeah. I think he's about to be Taysom Hill. We, I think we said that, though, last yeah. time. There's going to be so many crazy packages for him. Yeah, I don't think he's just going to be a straight-up tight end. I don't even think he's going to really play tight end. Yeah. I think he's, I mean, he'll be lined up at tight end maybe sometimes, but I think blocking is not going to be in his repertoire. I think he's going to be two tight end sets where fucking whoever the other Jaguar tight end is. Um, I was trying to think of the old one. Lewis? Yeah, I don't know. He hasn't been on the team in years. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. He, he's going to be like a... Mercedes Lewis? I think it's Mercedes that... Lewis, yeah. yeah. And it's been a long time since he was on the Jaguars. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. I think he's gonna be a slot receiver. He's gonna be wide out. He's gonna be quarterback. Yeah, probably gonna be a tailback. It might be fun to watch if he makes the team. Which I think if he does, it'd be because of Urban Meyer. But yeah, uh, the only other thing I had, I just can't believe. For one, I can't believe every year that I wasn't seeing this, and now that I am, it feels shocking. Adam Van Terry has announced he's retiring from the NFL after 24 seasons. Most points. In NFL history, not most field goals, not most field goals made, the most points scored. That's crazy. Period. I also can't imagine many people had longer NFL careers in general ever, though. I can't imagine there's too many. That is nuts. Yeah. Multiple Super Bowls? Yep. And, uh, good for him. He was, I was five or six when he joined the league. So, when uh, they're like, yeah, he's played uh, almost my whole life. That's literally true. I, I he has a nuts. full white beard. Like, I was going to say, a picture I'm looking at, he looks like Santa Claus. He used to be like clean cut and really good looking. Not that he's not good looking now. But, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. That's like a, a first ballot <laughs> Hall of Fame kicker. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. I forgot he retired. <laughs> that's all I had, though. I don't have anything in the Broncos. Yeah, not much. All right. Well, should we quack it out for the last time? Oh, do we have to think of a new thing for Pop? Maybe that can uh, we can live on. The Brohoss can live on through this. We'll think about that. Maybe we'll just call it Pigskin Over Pizza Brohawks Production. A sports podcast. We should call it that just so there's more sports stuff. Quack. 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 Go, Go Broncos. Pop. It's a big intro, big deal. Oh, God. Yes? <laughs> I'm ready. <clears throat> You'll realize that moment is a big deal.
I know it's weird. Uh, welcome to the last episode of Karen Backloggers. Is that what you're going to say? It's not from the 1920s. <laughs> welcome, you see? <laughs>